find the hybrid parameters for the two port network of the figure. This is the figure which is the part of the question and this figure is having our two port network and we are required to find the hybrid parameters or the H parameters of this two port network and this two port network is having one, two and three resistors and one current dependent voltage source and therefore it is very easy to find out the set of equations we have in case of Z parameters. So we will first find out the set of equations we have in case of Z parameters and then after that we have two options to find out the hybrid parameters. So let us find out the set of equations we have in case of Z parameters. And we know the step number one is to mark all the currents in our two port network. And here we can see that current in this branch is equal to I1 and current in this branch is equal to I2. And applying KCL at this node, we will have current in this branch which is equal to I1 plus I2. So in this way we are done with step number 1 and now we will follow the step number 2 in which we will obtain the input KVL equation and the output KVL equation. The input KVL equation will be plus V1 minus 3 multiplied to I1 minus 10 multiplied to I1 plus I2. So we have plus V1 minus 3 I1 minus 10 I1 plus I2 equal to 0 and from here we will have voltage V1 equal to 13 times current I1 and then we have plus 10 times current I2 and let's say this is our equation number 1. Now let us find out the output KVL equation. We will have plus V2 minus 2 times I2 plus 4I1 minus 10 times I1 plus I2. Very simple. We have plus V2 minus 2 I2 plus 4I1 minus 10 multiplied to I1 plus I2 equal to 0 and from here we will have voltage V2 equal to 6 times current I1 plus 12 times current I2 and let's say this is our equation number 2. Now in order to find out the hybrid parameters we have two options. Option number 1 is to use the conversion formulas we know how to perform the conversion of Z parameters to H parameters. We know parameter H11 is equal to the determinant of impedance matrix divided by Z22. Parameter H12 is equal to Z12 divided by Z22. Parameter H21 is equal to minus Z21 divided by Z22 and the last parameter H22 is equal to 1 over Z22 and from the first equation we can find out Z11 and Z12 13 is the value of Z11 and 10 is the value of parameter Z12 and from the second equation we can have Z21 6 is the parameter Z21 and we can have Z22 12 is the parameter Z22 so we have everything to find out H11, H12, H21 and H22 but you can use this option only when you know the conversion formulas in your examination the chances are very high that you might not remember these conversion formulas. Then we will follow the standard process. We know in case of 
H parameters current I1 along with voltage V2 are the two independent variables and voltage V1 along with current I2 will depend on these two independent variables and from here we will have two equations voltage V1 is equal to H11 current I1 plus H12 voltage V2 let's say this is our equation number 3 and we have current I2 is equal to H21 current I1 plus H22 voltage V2 and let's say this is our equation number 4 remember these two equations and your 90% job is done now what is our task what we are trying to achieve we are trying to have H11 H12 H21 and H22 in terms of Z11 Z12 Z21 and Z22 and for this we will try to convert these two equations in the forms we are having in equation number 3 and in equation number 4 and when you compare equation number 4 with equation number 2 you will find we have same variables here we have i to i1 and v2 as the three variables and in equation number 2 we have i to i1 and v2 as the three variables so we have the same variables in equation number 2 and equation number 4 therefore it is very easy to convert equation number 2 in the form we are having in equation number 4 and for this I will subtract 6 I1 on the left hand side and also on the right hand side this will give us minus 6 I1 plus voltage V2 equal to 12 I2 and from here we can say that current I2 is equal to minus 1 by 2 I1 plus 1 by 12 V2 let's say this is the fifth equation now compare equation number 3 with equation number 1 and you will find here we have V1 I1 and V2 as the three variables and here we have V1 I1 and I2 as the three variables so we have I2 in place of v2 so we want to get rid of i2 and we want v2 here so we will put i2 equal to this from equation number 5 here in equation number 1 and this will give us v1 equal to 13 times current i1 plus 10 multiplied to minus 1 by 2 i1 minus 1 by 2 i1 plus 1 by 12 voltage V2 and from here we will have voltage V1 equal to 8 times current I1 plus 5 by 6 times voltage V2 and this is our equation number 6 now compare equation number 6 with equation number 3 and you will find H11 is equal to 8 parameter H11 is equal to 8 and the unit will be ohms parameter H12 will be equal to 5 by 6 parameter H12 is equal to 5 by 6 and there will be no unit for parameter H12 because it is voltage gain now compare equation number 5 with equation number 4 and you will find parameter H21 is equal to minus 1 by 2 parameter H21 is equal to minus 1 by 2 and it will have no unit because it is current gain and parameter H22 is equal to 1 by 12 parameter H22 is equal to 1 by 12 and it will have the unit Mo or Siemens so this is all for the question and I will suggest you to practice this method to calculate the H parameters because in examination you may not remember the conversion formulas and now we will move on to our homework problem and in the homework problem 
you are required to find out the hybrid parameters of this two port network. So try to find out all the four hybrid parameters and once you have your answer, post it in comment section.